Sometimes it's very difficult to draw some types of parts in FreeCAD because we don't know how to manipulate the tools of this CAD program. So in this video, I will show you how to use the tool distance in the chamfer tool, how to create a linear pattern with a custom reference, how to mirror the linear pattern, how to create holes without a sketch and more, using as example this piece here on the screen. So I hope you like this video, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and also if you want to support the content of this channel, there's a link in the description of this video to my core page. As first up, let's create a new document, just click on this icon and change your page to part time. And now create a new body and also a new sketch in the XY plane. And what we'll do here is to go to the sketch geometry and select slot tool and start the geometry here on the origin point and now just click on this vertical axis now skip and select this equal constraint here and delete now if we drag this point here as you can see we're able to change this angle between these two lines here and now that we have this geometry it's time to set the dimensions of this sketch let's select constraint angle and now these two lines here and set 15 degrees and next select constraint diameter for this arc here we'll set a diameter of 30 millimeters now now we have one degree of freedom let's select constraint distance now this center point and this origin point and we set 115 millimeters now as you can see we have this sketch full constrained step two times so leave this sketch press home and let's make an extrusion of this sketch select pet tool and change the length here to 15 and enter now we have our first 3d model as you can see the next step now is to create this cycle this part and this part here we can do that creating a sketch in this face here so select this face create a new sketch and now go to sketch drums from here select external drum tool and extract this edge here to get this center point next select cycle tool and draw this cycle and also this cycle and the region point now let's select constraint diameter for this free cycle here we'll set a diameter of 65 millimeters and this cycle here 50 and now just close this sketch now select pet tool first here what we'll do is to reverse the duration of this extrusion check this option and also change the length to 15 millimeters okay now that we have this it's time to create this small fillet here this fillet to do that you need to select this edge and now click ctrl and select this edge and now these two edges. and next fillet 2 and the edge here must be 2.5 millimeters now enter and now that you have this fillet, it's time to create this channel for here using two distance. To do that, we can select this face and now channel for two. Now in this task panel, we go to type and we click here from this drop down. We select this option to distance. For example, the first distance here will set will set 10 millimeters and the size two will set five. Just click OK now. Select this face and create a fillet. This fillet here. The size will set 5 millimeters and OK. And next, let's create this fillet. Select this edge and now fillet tool again and set 0.75 millimeters and two. OK, now that we have this, it's time to create this thickness. To do that, we need to select this bottom face and then thickness tool okay the thickness here will set two millimeters and okay and we have this as you can see and now that we have this thickness it's time to create these two parts here this part and also this part to do that we'll create a sketch in this top face here select this face and now create a new sketch Next, select external jump tool and extract this edge to get the center point here. Select cycle tool and draw the cycle here in the center point. 
and also in the region point okay let's select consume diameter click in the cycle and the diameter here will set 36 millimeters and the cycle set 19 scale two times so leave the sketch and now select pet tool and the first thing that we'll do is to change the duration in this task panel set to check this option reverse it and now rotate this model as you can see here we need to apply a triple angle in this extrusion as you can see here we have this angle in these two extrusions here so we go to triple angle and this task panel and for example let's change to 10 degrees as you can see we need to reverse this angle to do that we set minus 10 degrees here and we have this click ok now and next let's create these two holes to do that we we'll first need to select this face and then use hole 2 just click here and from this task panel we can change the diameter of this hole as you can see we have a diameter of 6 here for this hole we can change this to for example to for example 28 millimeters and okay now for this part here select this face and hole 2 now for this hole we'll set a diameter of 10 millimeters and then two. we have this as you can see okay and also let's create a fillet here this fillet just select this edge and now control this edge and next fillet tool and the ridge here must be one just click ok and we have this okay now that we have this part here it's time to create this all occurrence here but first we need to create a sketch in which will create a geometry for this first part here so what you do we select this face and we create a sketch in this face now we zoom in and we select external jump tool and also extract this edge here and next we go to sketch jumps and we click here and we select this option rounded rectangle we select rounded rectangle because this part here as, as you can see we have this small fillet here so draw this rounded rectangle in this way now zoom in and now what you need to do is to delete these horizontal and vertical constraints to do that we can go to constraints here scroll down and as you can see we have these all constraints here horizontal and vertical so first you select this first horizontal constraint and now shift this constraint here and delete as you can see we have this now so skip and next if we drop this point here as you can see we have this we have this so next we can select equal constraint and make this line here and this line equal and the same here okay and also select parallel constraint and make these two lines here parallel this line parallel to this line and this line here to this line okay now select perpendicular constraint make these two lines here perpendicular okay now we have this let's hide these all constraints and next let's create a line in this center point and this end point here select line two and draw this line now skip select this line here we'll use this line here as a construction geometry so select this and change to construction geometry okay now we have this we have four degrees of freedom here the first thing that we can do is to select constraint angle and now this line and this line here and set angle 45 degrees okay and next just click here and select constraint radius for this arc here we'll set a radius of 0 0.25 okay and next what you do we select constraint distance tool for this line here we set 
a length of 1.5 okay and this line here was set one millimeters okay and now skip two times and now what you do we create an extrusion of this sketch select pet tool change the length here to 0 0.25 and enter and as you can see we have this and now that we have our first part here it's time to create these all linear patterns here and then mirror this on the side here to do that we'll use multi-front tool this tool here so okay guys to use this tool here we need first to select the last operation go to model select this operation this last operation here and then click on this tool multi from tool okay now from this task panel we go to transformations as you can see we need to make a end click end click and as you can see we have these all options what you do here is to select this option linear pattern click here and now scroll down go to duration we need to change the duration to custom reference to do that we click here and select this option select the reference and our reference will be this line here and now that we have a reference we change length here to 7 and the occurrence to 25 and ok now we need to create another linear pattern to do that right click on mouse and select this option again linear pattern scroll down again and change the duration to now change the duration to this line here select this line this edge and also change the length here to for example 6.5 and the occurrence to 4 and now just click ok as you can see we have this first linear pattern as you can see here now what you need to do is to mirror this in this side here to do that we'll use mirror transformation so here in transformations i'm going to click on mouse and select this option mirror transformation and now we need to change the plane to xy plane this plane here so we click here and we select yz plane now if we zoom in as you can see we have this linear pattern here in this side so it's okay click ok now and ok here as you can see we finish the design of this model this is the final model so what can i say is thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends and also if you want to support this channel there's a link in the description of this video to my core 5 page Thank you, I hope to see you in the next video.